All right, guys. So there was a lot of talk about these fast spammers that are unbeatable and it's just complete cheese and the resolver sucks and all that stuff. So what I did is I played a couple of games, tried to find somebody who's you know somebody who's spamming a lot of fast attacks. And as you can see right now, this guy uh, qualifies. And what I did is I, I built a slower attack deck um, to be able to counter these fast guys. Now, when I'm playing this side, you're going to see that. I do nothing. I don't block, I don't time anything. I am just equally spamming right back at this fast spammer. And I'm going to beat him in this match. If I take the time to actually time anything, uh, I would beat him absolutely handily. I, I believe I beat him 3-2 um, or 3-1, something like that at the, at the end of the video. But as you can see, I mean, this guy has every single fast attack, but he's trying to spam the heck out of it at the start of the video. And all I'm doing is spamming right back at him. I'm not thinking about anything. I'm not trying to be tight with it. I can't even hit him. I'm still spamming. I'm just hitting my buttons. Just to prove a point. Because no skill whatsoever. A halfway decently built deck. And I'm going to take out the fast spam. So a lot of people who are complaining about it, you just need to understand that you need to build a better deck. And if you have a halfway decent deck, these fast spammers aren't an issue. The ones that have talent can be, because you know, they're looking for their spots, and, but you can do the same and be able to counter those guys also. So the game is pretty balanced. I think that uh, the armor maybe needs to get looked into a little bit. But beyond that, I, I think that the game is, is relatively balanced. And Honestly, no skill versus no skill players, what's going to win the day is the deck build. If you're going to spam versus spam, it's the deck build that wins. So a lot of people who are spamming that are losing um, versus other spammers, it's simply because your deck is worse than their deck. And when you get up into a little bit higher level play, you're going to you know, watch what they're doing and be countering. You won't just have a deck build, but you'll understand every single one of your combos that you have in the deck, how to interrupt those combos, uh, mid combos to be able to, you know, move from one stance to another. Um, you're gonna know your feints. You know, if I faint here, I'm gonna end up in this stance, so I'm gonna do that to be able to get off a different attack. You just have to start understanding your deck. So you need to build one, eventually get really, really good at using that deck and understand how to, uh, switch stances, how to interrupt uh, combos. And one thing that people don't understand when they're building their deck is you don't have to fill everything out. You don't have to have three attacks on all four rows. Um, actually, very few of my decks actually have that. And if they do, one of them does, which is my full deck. And in that deck, I, I interrupted in the middle uh, with the alternate attacks more often than not because I want to switch and do a, a different type of attack because I want to do you know, confuse a guy, do high, low, high, low, low, high, mid, you know, or something like that. And, you know, that's what your alternate attacks are for. Also, a lot of people underestimate how good the evasion-based attacks are. I mean, they do a decent amount of damage, they're a little bit slow, but they also give you a chance to duck or, or sidestep an opponent's attack. So when you're building your deck, you need to place those strategically, understand where they are, what stances they're in. You take a look at your opponent, and then you can counter them with an attack. Instead of trying to block or dodge or, or whatever it is that you're trying to do to be able to counter them, you can just do it with one of those dodging attacks and do just fine. The same thing with the parry attacks. You just have to know what you have available to you, build the deck, understand and remember where you put things at. You know, know what sequence you want to hit them in, Understand when you want to break that sequence into an alternate attack and that alternate attack know where that's going to lead you to You know, so it, it's there's a lot of learning involved uh, And you're just building your own deck and then learning how to use your own deck So here at the end of the video and I'm going to let it go through uh, Until the game ends You're going to see that I do end up winning and I can see now it's a 3-2 it's a win uh, Against him, but then I'm going to show you how simple this deck I'm using is. It is, and you can probably tell, I mean, if you play this game and, Ian, and you're looking at what I'm doing, you're gonna notice there are very few combos. Very few combos. And anybody who's really good should just completely obliterate it because 
my attacks are entirely predictable. Um, my sequences are extremely predictable. So a good player would just completely own me. I mean, you see, I'm, I'm kicking at him when he's nowhere to be seen. I, I can't even get close enough to hit him, and I'm just swinging for the fence. Again, I'm doing that on purpose to show you there's absolutely no skill in what I just did. I just smashed buttons. Alright, so here you can actually see the build that I used. Notice all the empty uh, attack slots. It doesn't require uh, a lot of attack slots for you to go up against a spammer or somebody who isn't good in this game. Uh, so if you want to just go back to that, you can build something similar. Uh, the bottom two on the left can be changed out for just very, very fast attacks. Uh, so you'll be hitting your right button more often than your left button. Uh, but if you build that, that's a good, very basic, basic deck to start off with. Uh, not a whole lot to remember. And you can start trying to uh, play with that and get better with that deck. Well, that's pretty much it. And if you have any questions, put them down in the comments section and uh, I'll try to answer them. And I'm going to start uploading a couple of video game videos because I have some time on my hands now. So uh, like and subscribe like everybody else says if you want something uh, new.